hi everyone welcome back to my youtube channel so in this video we will see how we can read the csv file using pyspark okay so pyspark has given a simple method to read the files okay i mean any kind of file but let, let's take a look to the csv for this particular video so if we can use spark there is a method called read which allow you to pass the format okay so let's say you wanted to read csv you can pass csv and then you have to use load function where you will pass the path of the file so the file is in the dbfs currently let me copy the name okay let me copy the path basically and i will uh, paste the path over here and what i will do i'll store it as a part of data frame and then i will display the data as well let's see if it works so this is a simple way to read the file read a csv file in the PySpark. now if you see the first issue if you see the column names right these 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 are actually the column names but how spark is treating it as a data that's why it's 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 putting uh, as a part of data over here okay so so to mitigate this issue we need to use one option okay option basically you can say one one uh, one one parameter which we can pass okay as a part of option while reading this file okay so let's take a look how we can do that i'll copy the script and before load I will use one function called option okay and then in the option i will pass header and i'll say this file has headers okay that's why i'm saying true okay it means this file is having headers so now what databricks will do it will treat the first line as a header and then it will generate the results uh, okay, I forgot to put the dot. Yeah, so if you see now, this issue is resolved. Okay, so this is the first option which we can use if our files contains header. Okay, now let's. Okay, you can also title your command cell lines like. Uh, how and why to use header option in while reading the csv file okay so now you are clear right now let's take a look to the next next option okay so the next option is related to delimiter see by default it's a csv file right and everybody knows like most of the time or 99 percent of the times delimiter means we generally use comma separated right that's why it's name called csv right but in few organization they, they generally use some other um, delimiter okay so in that case you need to explicitly mention the delimiter while reading the file so how you can add that delimiter you can again use option okay you need to write delimiter and then you can pass the delimiter so in our case it is comma only but maybe they are using ampersand or hyphen or, or whatever or hash or anything okay so i'll pass this option over here and i'll pass the type of delimiter and then i run my code so it won't have any change if you see everything is same but if you have some other delimiters you can use this property okay use this option now i'll name it as let's say how to use delimiter option okay as much is enough i don't want to waste your time okay now so the next part is okay so if you see here when we were reading this file right if you see the type of data right everything data i mean pyspark is treating as a string right even though these are all called numbers 
so maybe they are integers right or maybe long or something right so in databricks there is an option where you will allow databricks or PySpark to identify the type of data as well and based on the type of data it will decide the data type for that column okay so how you can do that how you can leverage that option basically you can use options again and that is called infer schema okay and again you have to just use true or false if you wanted to use infer schema it means you wanted to infer the schema by databricks i mean you wanted to allow databricks to infer the schema or PySpark, it will do it okay so let's run this file and this time you should see some differences in the schema see so that's why we use infer schema so again uh, if you want your specific schemas for this particular uh, data frame you can have that as well so we'll cover that part in the next video i will show you how exactly you can pass your schema file and based on that schema file it will generate the schema for the data frame okay and here i'll write to use infer schema option okay now the next and the final option we generally use see there are other options as well we generally use we, there are other options as well which we can use with the csv file okay but these four are the major things or major uh, options which we generally use okay so the last option is not related to this single file okay so let's say we have one more file okay mm, i'll show you quickly okay this is the file it is again a csv file i'll copy this and I'll, okay anyways i have copied the path so i can replace it directly let me run it and i will show you the data so you will see the same data right all those same eight records but the issue or but the change in this particular data frame is the column name so here you will see temp okay but if you see here we have code right so you will be in a situation sometime where you have multiple csv files but the schema is not same okay maybe there are changes so in that case you want your uh, code to read all the files as well as it should handle the schema as well okay so how it will handle the schema in that case right because infer schema is just for the data types right so there is one more option which we can use here okay which will call merge merge schema okay again you need to pass true or false so what it will do it will merge basically the schema of first file second file third file and all the files okay so now i'll not specify a single file i want both the files to uh, i mean i i want to read both the files basically okay now we have this merge schema we have infer schema we have delimiter we have headers all those four options which we generally or frequently use i am missing one dot here okay let's run it let's see the output so if you see here now we have code as well as we have a temp right so we actually merged both of the schemas okay and if you see here for eight records we have null in temporary and for other eight records we have null in the code so basically we have merged the schema for both the tables okay and uh, this is how this merge schema will be helpful for you in case if you are reading multiple csv files and there are chances that the schema might differ okay so uh, that's it for this video i will be saving this notebook in the github i'll pass the link in the uh, in the description you can have a look i hope this video will be helpful for you guys